محاضرتنا اليوم هي آخر محاضرة إن شاء الله بهذه السنة وهي حول موضوع الباراسيتيك انفستيشن أو السكيت One of the most important uh, parasite that um, uh, infest the skin is the scabies. Uh, by definition, scabies it is a highly contagious parasitic skin disease it caused by infestation and penetration of the epidermis by a mite. And the name of the mite is Sarcoptus scabii, virus hominis. A parasite host interaction is manifested as a severe nocturnal parasites and generalized lesion of baro, uh, allergic reaction and secondary infection, especially in the fold area sparing the face. So from the definition, we found it is a parasitic infestation uh, caused by mite. Uh, this mite interact with our body and during this interaction produce severe nocturnal itching and generalized eruption in the body. But this generalized it spare the head. In this picture you are going to see this is the Sarcoptus scabii virus hominis. So, Sarcoptus scabii is a crawling mite. Yani mite, we know how crawling, have a, a, a void, pale body, and have a flattened dorsal ventrally. The adult female, usually larger than male, so it is about two times, or more than two times uh, larger than male, uh, the uh, mite has uh, uh, four pairs of short legs, the mite, whole cycle of the mite is completed on the skin of the human. So this is a disease of a human being only. Well, regarding the uh, life cycle of uh, Sarcoptus scabii, uh, by the way, a single fertilized female can initiate infection if come if, if get contact with the skin. So once this uh, fertilized female uh, come in, into the skin, it selects usually a places in the skin where it is the skin is thin, wrinkled, and easily to be penetrated. At the beginning, what what this female will do is, is to start dig in the skin. So it starts to create uh, the base of their burrow uh, in the stratum corneum of the epidermis. And uh, the digging in a rate of 2 to 3 millimeters per day. Once the uh, burrow is formed, it starts to lay eggs. Usually it lays about 2 eggs per day. And this process will continue for usually the single female may may lay about 50 uh, eggs in their whole life cycle. So, once this uh, egg are deposited in the burrow, the, uh, the egg will change to a larva, and which, uh, this will change in about 3 to 10 days, and from them it, it moves to the skin. From that, it will start to change to uh, a nymph and then become a mature female. The adult mite, usually each adult mite will live in a, around one month in the host of the skin. Yeah, I mean, how do you in the life cycle? And single female, cafe and not a male infection. Half female, they can fertilize. Look at my can, closer to thin skin, but it's a penetration. تحفق 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 بالستراتا الكورنية من صاغ البورو تبدأ تخلي ايك هذه الايك تخليها تقريبا بيضتين يوميا وكل في مال وحدي تعمل نفاوت خمسين بيضة على ما تنين ايش قد تطيقة عيش تعيش لشعر فهكي البيضة قح تفقص تصير خلال اسبوع تفقص تصير 
تصير لارفا من لارفا تتحول الى النمف ومن النمف تتحول الى ماتور وتظل يصير الميل والفيميل ماتين بهالماتين بعد ما يعمل فيرتلايزيشن اوف ذا فيميل يوجول الميل داي الفيميل تكونتينيو ذا سايكل اوف ذا ساركوبتس سكيبيا Regarding the epidemiology of Sarcoptus scabii, um, it is a very, very common disease. So, uh, I regard it, uh, according to um, WHO, it's about 300 million new cases reported annually. And these are affecting all ages, especially young and both sexes. But who is the people at risk? The people at risk uh, are those who are living in overcrowded area uh, uh, with the poor sanitation, uh, those who have uh, limited health resources, poverty uh, during hot climate, and um, because uh, circumstances scavia can be transmitted sexually, so the one who have multi-partner are more likely uh, and definitely the immune compromised person. This will lead to a mini epidemic or even endemic. This mini epidemic, and I know a small mini epidemic, uh, mini epidemic area or endemic area in, within the families. So most of the cases when they come, they say, I, I suffer from the disease, my wife, uh, my son, my daughter, and so on. Uh, those prisoners who live in a um, large number of uh, persons in a very uh, limited spaces, um, the people who live in nursing home, um, in the hospitals, um, in the boarding school, in the refugee camp, and in the military camps. اوكي حتى نشخص السركوبتس سكيبي اي اول شيء نحتاج انه البيشنت كومبلين فروم سيفير نوكتورنال برايتس ذيس برايتس از جنرايز ان فوق اول ذا بادي ابارت فروم ذا هيد ويل از ا ريزلت اوف ديجينج ذا مايت ان ذا سكين ات برودوسينج ذا باتاجنومونيك ليشن اوف سكيبيز ويتش از كولد بار uh, the other lesion manifested uh, or the other lesion uh, developed in the patient uh, are usually result from chronic scratching and this chronic scratch lead to a coriaceous mark uh, lead to a prurigo papule this prurigo papule may be damaged and lead to uh, super added bacterial infection so the patient will have pustules and the crusted uh, some of the lesions produce excessive uh, reaction around it, so it's producing scabiotic nodule, and even eczematous lesion of, uh, can be seen in the patient with scabies. Well, just a few words about the burrow. Burrow is, uh, uh, as you see in the picture, it is uh, a gray-brown line. Uh, or linear capsule, uh, result from the movement of the mite and the discrete. It's usually seen in the width space and in the genitalia. Uh, burrow may be a, a dotted or dotted line, curve or curve line, mm, all these are the characteristics of the burrow. In most of the cases, when we examine the patient, we cannot see the burrow wide because it due because uh, scratching of the patient will usually lead to uh, opening or desurfacing the burrow. But once you see the burrow, it is a pathognomonic of scabies. So burrow is a pathognomonic of scabies. Uh, again, the genitalia papule or nodule is also a pathognomonic for escapes. 
Well, the site of predilection of scabiotic lesion uh, can be summarized in the circle of Hebra, which is an imaginary line intersecting the site of predilection. These are include the areola, the anterior axillary fold, elbow flexure, wrist, finger whip space, umbilicus, lower abdomen, and genitalia. So this is the circle of Hebra which is a site of a predilection. So, uh, we can summarize the clinical picture of escapees. First, the patient have um, one, have uh, um, usually have a history, of a family history, or uh, of many epidemics. So, either within the family there are more than one member in the family have uh, escapees, or uh, the contactant, for example, in in in, in uh, many patients or in the hospital. The second criteria for diagnosis is the patient has severe nocturnal itching. This itching is generalized, involving all the body apart from head and neck. Um, three, we're going to find uh, typical lesion of the scabies, uh, where in the site, a special site of predilection. This site of predilection, the circle of Hebra. So we found it in, in whip space between fingers and the rest, in the elbows, uh, axillary, anterior axillary line, uh, nipples, umbilicals, genitalia. Uh, this picture shows some of the clinical variants of uh, scabies. So, Infantile escapees, uh, the characteristic of, of uh, the picture is more uh, generalized than the uh, adult and usually widespread lesion involving characteristically uh, the palm and soul and the palm and soul but infant it can thin or soft, mammoth the adult it can tough or they were difficult to penetrate. And uh, usually the patient um, presented and the aging because he's infant, so he presented as an irritability. Uh, the face may be, or the scalp may be also involved in the base. Uh, the other variant of escapes is called the crusted escapes. Usually this is a more severe form of heavy infestation, usually affecting those um, elderly who have uh, weak immunity, so elderly with widespread crusted lesion. These crusts tend to be thick, crumble easily um, removed when touched, and the, pa the patient or uh, the lesion look gray. The other type of uh, or other variant of scabies is that scabies in a clean man, um, so-called clean man scabies. Usually, these patients presented very mild symptoms, very few lesions, sometimes even you may miss it. Uh, lastly, um, uh, scabiotic incognito, this is a mild symptom, few lesions, uh, and none classically, and usually this is masked by steroids. I think that may help us in the diagnosis is by using uh, uh, skin scrapping and use uh, mineral oil preparation. So by using 15 blade scalpel, scrap the burrow if you find it, the scrap material is placed on a slide and a drop of mineral is added. A cover slip is put on the top and you see in the image, the image that uh, look like this. And what you are going to find, you, find, you may find this, um, the mind itself, or you find the egg, or you find the pieces. Well, escapees may um, uh, develop complications from it, and these are the list of the complications, expected complications from escapees. So the patient may develop secondary infection, eczematization, Lamidopneuritis, chemosis, immunological sexually, or even drug reaction, irritation, and synthesizing. Well, the following diseases you should put it as a differential diagnosis for skin. First, you have to do um, you have to 
uh, excluded from uh, pediculosis corporis. Usually this is also producing a widespread paritis and uh, usually affecting the uh, trunk. Uh, the patient will have uh, excoriation and crusting with the characteristic macular cellulosa. Which is the site the pediculus يعني sucks the blood. See, it's a place of post-inflammatory uh, hyperpigmentation. So this is called macular cellulosis. The other differential diagnosis is the parigo. And in parigo, this is um, usually a patient presented with, with severely pruritic firm papule, typically uh, bilateral symmetrical and typically involving the lower extremities. So the limb, uh, and usually the external surface of the uh, limb. The other differential diagnosis is atopic dermatitis, and I think you know atopic dermatitis, and uh, eczema translation, but the site of predilection and do a special site of predilection. Uh, due to pa characteristic whipping space, so patient may present, uh, uh, or the patient with the complex, also you should put it as a differential diagnosis. Uh, in complex, the patient has deeply seated, severely pruritic vesiculation in the palm, in the whipping space, and in the palm, and so on. Well, with the treatment uh, principle, first you should uh, treat all secondary infection or complication first. Second, uh, remember treat all holes all. So, uh, not only treating the patient, but treat all the contact to the patient, Hata to avoid what we call ping pong infection. مثل ما واحد واحد يطيب واحد يعدي واحد يطيب واحد يعدي. But treat all family members. Uh, remember, in an institution, not only treating the patient, but on, also treat the, uh, um, the pe people who are a caretaker of the uh, resident. Uh, treat the format also, not only treat the patient, but treat the, uh, his, his format or his belonging. So the clothes, the bed linen, all treated by hot water, hot water, water. Okay? Uh, or you may use insecticide. Uh, when you use escapicidal drug, so you, you, you apply it thoroughly uh, from behind the ear, neck, down to the toes. How many times? This is depend on the type of escapicidal. Well, uh, these are the drugs that we use it for treatment of scabies. This is called a permethrin, lindan, benzyl, benzoate, crotamitone, uh, sulfur, or ivermectin. Uh, well, um, drug of choice for our, of most of us is permethrin. This is usually when you uh, put it on the body. You put it for, for, for something between 8 to 14 hours. And the characteristic of the permethrin, it is capable of uh, killing uh, the ova over, so it is ovicidal. Lindan, uh, you, you can uh, put it for 8 hours, repeat it after one week. But remember, one of the side effects of uh, Lindan is may cause seizure. Benzyl uh, benzoic, you have to uh, put it uh, on uh, for three consecutive nights. Muscular to have burning uh, with dryness of the skin. Crotamitone, um, two applications, but usually this is very weak, not effective. I usually use it to relieve uh, symptoms rather than treating as a, um, as a sole treatment. Sulfur is a good drug, uh, but you have to keep uh, keep it on the skin for three consecutive nights. Uh, it, it, it is um, have a moderate action. Uh, this is a uh, oral treatment. You give uh, 200 milligram single uh, dose, single oral dose. You may uh, repeat it after 14 days. Uh, but the problem of this 
it has a lack of a sidal axis. Uh, again, uh, the other, um, it, um, it is good for the people who have an eczema. Uh, we should not only give the patient escapicidal, but we give him some supportive treatment, like we give him antihistamine, antibiotic if there is a superadded bacterial infection, uh, use emollient um, after treatment because most of this cause irritation. Uh, steroid sometimes, particularly if the patient from the chronic scratching, it will lead to eczematous lesions, so we use a steroid. Uh, for those with the uh, crusted scabies, we may use keratolytic agent. Sometimes the patient uh, may continue suffering from itching even after treatment. So what are the possibilities for the uh, persistence of itch after treatment? One is reinfection, if the patient uh, gets another infection, or uh, relapse from the treatment. Uh, the other, the patient may have an eczematous reaction from the scabies or from the medication used or contact of irritation from a drug, or even sensitization. Sometimes the patient uh, becomes even psychologically upset, so you have a dilution of parasite, or uh, acro, what we call it, acrophobia. Uh, lastly, prob probably the patient suffer from other dermatological problems. So all these uh, uh, all these possibilities, keep it in mind when the patient is still com complaining from itching even after successful treatment. Second uh, common infestation of the skin is pediculosis. By definition, pediculosis, it is a highly contagious parasitic skin disease caused by infestation and penetration of the hair by three types of mites. We have pediculosis, the humanus varus carpitus, in the ethylhalyl scalp, the pediculosis, the humanus varus corporis, in the way I mean pediculosis of the body, and lastly, the aptharus pupus, which is uh, affecting the pubic area. And, um, well, from the parasite host interaction, is manifested as a severe nocturnal, um, as a severe, uh, sorry, severe pruritus in the infected site with allergic reaction and usually superadded secondary bacterial infection. Regarding the mite description, if we look to the pediculus humanus virus capitis, they are thin and long and usually infest scalp hair. Regarding uh, uh, pediculosis the humanus virus corporis, this is also a thin and long, and usually it infects the clothes, close to skin. And usually this is hide in uh, the seams of the clothes. With that, like, yani, in pediculosis, man is body, man dawa aliha bit jism, and dawa aliha بالأحواس مع المريض مكان الخياط الدغزات مع الخياط. Lastly, thyrus pupus. This is uh, not like the other two types. This is um, uh, broad, short, usually affecting the pupic and axillary area, the bird area, eyebrow and eyelashes. This is the life cycle of uh, pediculosis. Uh, usually the uh, female lay egg uh, and this egg is laid to the hair uh, in seven days uh, uh, this egg uh, hatches and laws hatch from this egg after seven days. Uh, in the day 12 uh, they pass to the first mold and the day 16 pass to the second mold and day 17 change to uh, uh, adult, uh, male and female, and they mat uh, in um, another three days. So in day 20, they start to lay about four eggs per day. And usually in, in two months, uh, the louse die. 
So the story meant to, يعني البيضة تتخلى بيض صفر تقريبا يحتاج أسبوع حتى تصير hatches of the egg بعد يحتاج لنا تقريبا يعني بتندز حتى تحول إلى adult من ساعة adult ساعة ماتينج بفيو ديز تبدا تخلي البيض وهذا ايش قد تخليها لفتره تدوم تقريبا 50 يوم. Well, regarding the clinical features of head lice, uh, usually this is more disease of children, uh, most commonly in, uh, among children. Um, the child presented with suffering from uh, scarpopruritus. Uh, during examination, you will found you will detect the nits. Uh, usually, detect the nits. Rarely, you will found uh, uh, the adult lice. Why? Because Akufad uh, Mustala, it will run to the forest. Can and once you detect the might of Surat Akufi, then shout. Okay. The other manifestation of the disease, needed to, because of excessive scratching of the scalp, the patient will suffer from uh, what? From uh, superadded bacterial infection because he injures the scalp and uh, he may develop uh, superadded secondary bacterial infection. This superadded bacterial infection also will lead to cervical lymphadenopathies, uh, usually uh, typically behind the ear. Uh, Sometimes because of the infection of the pus and the mite, uh, the hair will mat together, so forming what we call uh, a plica, a uh, uh, polonica. Uh, patient also will have uh, eczematization of the lesion, um, usually affecting the uh, neck area. Uh, when we found the net is cemented to the hair. Either البيضة الأيج هذا سمنتد سمنتد الذهب إذا الأول ارتفاعه مكان السمنت إن الذهب أقل من 6 مليمتر مين أكتيف نيو ديش وال إف إت إز مور ذان 6 مليمتر مين إن أولد ديش أوكي أو أولد إنفكشن إذن لاستلي يو جون تو فاوند نيت ذيس نيت uh, how I differentiate between hash or non hash uh, nits. Nits non hash, the containing lazal, the containing lice, it's going brownish in color, while the empty one is uh, clear or white in color. Well, regarding the uh, body lice, uh, the clinical feature of patients suffering from body lice. Uh, usually affecting poor people, uh, those with bad hygiene, uh, the patient will present it with the body pruritus, and you're going to detect uh, of the net or lice where not in, on the body but on the clothes, on the seam of the clothes. Okay? Uh, patient, because of scratching, they have a scratch mark, they have secondary bacterial infection and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation of the skin, or what we call macula cellulosa, which is uh, a hemosiderine laden bluish brown macule at the site of sucking of the blood. Sometimes the patient may develop, develop a heavy lesion at the site of skin close or intimate to the clothes. So most of the lesion will be concentrated uh, up on the neck, the shoulder, or in the west area, or in sacrum, buttock area, uh, or the upper part of the thigh. Well, regarding the uh, clinical pe feature of uh, pupic lice, uh, usually this is considered one of the sexually transmitted diseases. The patient will have uh, a nocturnal pruritus, and you're going to detect the nits or louses on the affected area. Uh, which area is usually expected? You're going to find the pupic area, ciliary area, eyelashes, beard, moustache. Uh, because of the uh, this lies suck of blood, so you're going to 
found uh, blue gray macule or macula cellulosa uh, which is a russet color uh, and speckled on the skin. Well, regarding the treatment of lice, usually uh, treatment of lice uh, is by um, changing the behavior of the patient. So we do a good hygiene. Uh, when you treat, treat the patient, not only the patient, but only also treat the families. Usually one of the best drugs is uh, Permethrin. Uh, then it's, you, go, um, you need to remove it uh, mechanically um, by using the comb, the comb with the kerosene uh, or with the finger. Uh, regarding the eyelashes infection, uh, usually removed by mechanical. If you're affecting other area like axillary or pupic, the best treatment is shaving and you get rid of the problem. If the patient suffers from pediculosis of the body, so the best treatment is to treat the clothes rather than you treat the patient. So we do ironing, uh, 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 washing by hot water and ironing. If the clothes of the tire that is damaged by heat, uh, simply you put it in a plastic uh, and um, a bag and you keep it uh, away from users for at least 10 days or more, okay? Well, some of the drugs that are available uh, in our market that effective again is lice is um, I can use malatium carbaryl, uh, gamma ben benzene hexachloride, or I use permethrin, and lastly, ivermectin. Uh, each type, um, the detail of uh, how many hours I, I keep it, and uh, if I remove it, is shown in the tip. Now, the last disease we're going to discuss it in this lecture is the leishmaniasis. Leishmaniasis, by definition, is an important complex of protozoal vector bone disease that affecting both the human and animal. It's usually transmitted by a bite of the sand fly. The clinical picture of the disease um, is of a longer spectrum, encompassed subclinical or may be presented as a localized clinical uh, uh, skin lesion or a disseminated one in which disseminated cutaneous or disseminated to involve the mucous membrane or even the visceral organ. The clinical picture of the disease it depends on the uh, host, uh, on the species of the uh, uh, Leishmania, on the host factors and the immune inflammatory response. These are the sand fly, and now it's going, is biting the skin. Uh, the sand fly that's responsible for transmitting the old world uh, Leishmania is, called, is from the uh, species Phlebotomus, while the one responsible for transmitting the Leishmania in the new world is the Lozemian species. Well, Leishmania are classified into three types, either cutaneous, purely cutaneous, or mucocutaneous, and uh, visceral Leishmania. The species responsible for cutaneous, Leishman cutaneous Leishmaniasis is Leishmania tropica, Leishmania major, Leishmania tupica, and Leishmania mexicana. In our locality, the, or most of the old world, the cutaneous leishmaniasis is caused by, usually by leishmania tropica. Regarding mucocutaneous, this is usually caused by leishmania brasiliensis. Uh, regarding visceral leishmania, is also common and uh, uh, Leishmania donovani responsible for producing visceral leishmaniasis or leishmania infantum or leishmania shakazi. Okay, so uh, for us as a dermatologist, 
we usually found the cases of cutaneous, or we, we see a cases of cutaneous leishmaniasis, or what we call the Baghdad boil, uh, the um, species responsible for uh, producing cutaneous leishmaniasis is usually leishmania tropica. Well, leishmania is very common disease. If we look to uh, this uh, map, we found there are there are around 350 people a million people at risk of getting uh, uh, leishmaniasis. Uh, 12 million of them are infected. So we have uh, one and a half to two million new clinical cases each year. Well, this is the leishmania parasite. And the leishmania parasites have uh, two stages. We have the promastigoid and the amastigoid. The difference between promastigoid and amastigoid, promastigoid is spindle-shaped and flagellated, while uh, amastigoid lost the flagellum and become a global, uh, a globe shape or round shape. Well, this is the life cycle of the leishmaniasis. The cycle is taught when the uh, sand of fly suck blood of infected man. So, with this blood, she will ta it will take the um, what it will take the parasite. At this stage, that is in the blood of the infected person, is in the form of a mastigoid. So once the parasite enters the body of the sand fly, it will go to the hindgut where it is changed from a mastigoid to become a pro mastigoid. And when it reaches to a, 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 a full pro mastigoid, it will go to what? To the mouthpiece again. So when this sand fly bites another person, uh, during biting, it will introduce the promasticoid into the blood of the person. And this promasticoid, it will be engulfed by the macrophage. Uh, when it's engulfed by phagocytosis um, within the macrophage, it will lose the flagellum and become pro amastigoid. Amastigoid. And from there, there will be proliferate till it will cause destruction, destruction of the uh, cell, and this uh, amastigoid will, will be taken by another macrophage, and so on. So this, this cycle will continue, so we can understand, we have two stages, the pro amastigoid is in the sand fly, and the amastigoid is in the person, so the amastigoid cannot infect another person, uh, so it needs the uh, sand fly to complete the life cycle of the uh, leishmania. We have uh, four variants of uh, cutaneous leishmaniasis. We have the rural type, and we have the urban type, and we have the diffuse cutaneous leishmaniasis, and lastly, leishmania residiva. So the rural is called zoonotic, or early ulcerative cutaneous leishmaniasis. The urban called anthrobonotic cutaneous leishmaniasis or oriental sore. In zoonotic or the uh, rural type, it is called wet type, in which a patient will develop uh, a, a moist cutaneous ulcer like lesion at the site of the bite and start as a papule, then this uh, become uh, passed to an acute stage within one to four weeks uh, with the early ulceration and surrounded by zone of inflammation that usually heal in around two or three or two months, sometimes to a year, with it leaving a depressed, unpigmented, ugly scar with a long, uh, lifelong lasting immunity. The urban type, it is the dry lesion with the minimal insulation and usually is self-limited, but the nodule is uh, painless, 
painless. So uh, uh, if a patient comes to you with a painful lesion, uh, remember uh, cutaneous leishmaniasis is painless. And with the dusky, slowly growing nodule, that tend to ulcer and heal with ugly depigmented scar, usually in around uh, 3 to 12 months. In the diffuse cutaneous leishmaniasis, it causes Usually this is by Leishmania Ethiopica rather than Leishmania Tropica. And this is what cause diffuse nodular and non-ulcerating lesion with a low immunity to Leishmania. With, and if we examine the patient, you have a large number of the parasites. Lastly, the Leishmania residiva uh, or lupoid Leishmaniasis, this is a severe immunological reaction to a Leishmania antigen leading to persistent dry skin lesion and with a few parasites. These are the pictures showing the uh, clinical type of uh, cutaneous leishmaniasis and the first one is the wet cutaneous leishmaniasis. Wet cutaneous leishmaniasis usually affecting exposed part of the body because uh, sand fly usually biting the exposed part it heals usually spontaneously within a year. The incubation period is usually a um, uh, few months. Uh, the initial lesion appears as a red parenchyma-like papule. This papule gradually enlarges in size over a period of several weeks and assumes more dusky, violaceous hue. Eventually, the lesion becomes crusted with the undertaking shallow ulcer Often, often having raised and surrounded by indurated border. The healing is usually with a scar that typically atropic, hyperpigmented, irregular, cribriform uh, or ugly scar. Uh, the other picture is uh, a, a dry one. The, in the dry one, uh, usually the lesion is uh, start slower. Uh, and grow slower, and uh, usually uh, re um, it may ulcerate, but the ulceration uh, it take a long time, r more than uh, the wet uh, cutaneous leishmaniasis, and usually again it heals slowly by an ugly scar. Regarding uh, uh, leishmania residuals, leishmania residuals uh, are called relapsing leishmaniasis develop in uh, a new infiltrated papule at the periphery of the scar of healed cutaneous leishmaniasis. Initially, this is expanded slowly, assuring a, a circular or acriform configuration and behave similar to lupus vulgaris. That is, when you press on it, it appears as apple jelly nodule. Uh, this is usually resistant treat uh, treatment and uh, these lesions are not destructive, but it may persist and spread for many years. So, this is a patient with uh, cutaneous leishmaniasis. Um, after the leishmania heal, he starts to develop at the periphery a node uh, papule. This is an inflammatory papule, but non destructive. But usually, this papule uh, uh, resistant to treatment and may last many years. Lastly, the diffuse cutaneous leishmaniasis, which is caused by Leishmania Ethiopica. This is a diffuse, progressive, chronic, non-ulcerated nodule lesion. The patient has poor immunity to the parasite, so the patient will have uh, numerous parasites with a poor response to treatment. So the treatment of uh, leishmaniasis, either we give no treatment because this is a self-healing lesion, but remember it heals with an uh, ugly scar. Or we may use a medical therapy by using uh, pentavalent antimony, pentostam, or may use amphotericin P or antifungal drug, plus minus antibiotic for uh, uh, treatment of superadded bacterial infection. The other treatment we may use a surgical treatment by a cryosurgery or by excision or by cure touch. 
Okay, this uh, equation for you, whether I use pentastam uh, locally or, uh, or internationally, or I use it systemic, uh, this is depend on the number of the lesion, availability of medication. Okay? أخيرا شكرا لحسن صحاكم وأتمنى لكم الموفقية في الامتحانات وإن شاء الله السنة الجاية نشوفكم في الفاينل صف السادس شكرا